wanted two covers for my instrument. How can you make one for yourself? I'm gonna lay that out for you right now. Yay! <laughs> What's up, internet? My name is Bass Cliff G, and in my last video, I talked about how instruments could potentially spread viruses through these little aerosols. So, of course, I made covers for my instrument to help prevent that from happening when, hopefully, music moves back indoors and I can go back to playing with my other adult uh, amateur ensembles. So I used two different materials with two different methods in order to help you decide what works best for you. This is a nylon mix. It's 82% nylon and 28% spandex. So this material you commonly see used in a pair of leggings or a pair of pantyhose. This is ripstop nylon, 100% nylon, and it acts and feels a lot like a shower cap or a shower curtain. So you'll see me cutting out the spandex here. What I did was I measured the bell of my instrument. I cut out a circle accordingly and I added a one and a half inch seam allowance. I can't stress this enough. You're gonna need that seam allowance. An inch to an inch and a half really should do it. If you are using the sewing method, you are going to need some elastic. And if you're using the drawstring method, you're gonna be needing a little bit of rope. Now, both of these you can get at craft stores and even hardware stores, so they're not hard to find. All the fabric I found at local fabric stores, and I would recommend getting extra materials just in case. It's always nice to have a little extra just in case a hiccup happens, because that happens to me a lot. Now, if you're using the sewing method, once you have cut out your cover with the one to one and a half inch seam allowance, you are going to then fold over that seam and pin it in place. Make sure you leave a pocket so that you can weave the elastic in later. And then once everything is pinned, you're just gonna begin sewing. Now, my sewing skills are iffy, and I didn't trust myself enough to do this project on my own, so I enlisted the help of my beautiful cousin, Taylor, and she was able to help me and get this seam sewn. Next is insert your elastic into your cover. You do this by placing a safety pin at one end and that'll help grip the elastic as you weave it through the seam of the instrument. That's why you need to leave that pocket. Once you reach to the end, you want to stretch out the cover itself until you feel that it's comfortable enough to securely fit around your instrument. And then you can sew the pocket and the two ends of the elastic together. Your finished product will look something like this. Ta-da! Now for the drawstring method, you're gonna do something very similar. What you're going to do is cut an even number of holes, evenly spaced apart, into your cover. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to take your rope and you are going to weave it in and out of those holes. And it should look a little something like this at the end. So now I'm gonna show you how I put these onto my tuba, and then I'm gonna play something for you guys so you can hear how each of them sound. All right, you guys, I'm going to start with the spandex. So I find that application is easiest for both if I simply hold the tuba on the floor here. So I'm going to be playing the first two lines from uh, Rondo, from Prelude Siciliano and Rondo by Malcolm Arnold. <laughs> Alright, 